Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over a couple tips and optimizations that I employ while working with Unreal Engine on a laptop. Uh, laptops are a very attractive proposition because uh, you can basically take a laptop anywhere. Um, say if you're on a boat or you know, you're know you on vacation and you want to work on your project, you can and it's uh, really awesome. Uh, but I don't think there's like a 100% substitute for a, um, a proper workstation. Uh, but laptops, you know, they're they're pretty good, and they can get you they can get you there. Uh, but there's a couple things that you have to kind of uh, I feel that you kind of have to do to make your life uh, a little bit better. So this is uh, Unreal Engine on a laptop, and it's sounding pretty noisy because I haven't done the thing that I do every time I open up the editor. Um, right now, it's running at 60 frames per second. And for working with blueprints and uh, getting things in your scene and things like that, I'm old school. You don't really need that. And uh, right now, uh, the laptop kind of sounds like it's a jet engine taking off. So I'm going to uh, set the FPS to uh, a lot lower for the purposes of working. So, you know, don't get too upset with me. I'm going to uh, uh, press tilde to open up the console command. I'm going to hit T max, oops, FPS. I'm going to hit a space and I'm going to type in 20. And look at that top right corner when I press enter. It'll go down to 20 FPS. And it's still, you know, usable. And I can open up uh, my blueprints and uh, edit things. And it's not like blazing fast um, FPS. Uh, and you know some people might not prefer this, but I prefer the uh, the battery saving and the uh, the noise. And I'm not necessarily profiling all the time. And uh, yeah, this is just kind of um, one of those things that I uh, that I do. So also working on a laptop, there's you know usually you know you only have one screen, and that can just become a pain. Uh, if you want to like go in and uh, test your game out. So what I always do is I have it set to open in a new window. I'll go to play, open in new window. And uh, for the purposes of testing, you know, this is running at uh, uh, stat FPS. Yeah, this is running at uh, 20 frames per second. Mind you, the uh, it looks like the uh, the the frame timer is like really bad but that's because we've locked the frame rate unreal it's kind of kind of dumb and it thinks that uh, our computer is slugging along so i'll go uh stat uh, no stat unit sorry and uh, like oh my god like the, the the frame time is taking 50 milliseconds for some reason uh, but that's because we have it locked so that's why that's occurring uh just as a little caveat so or I don't even know if I use that right word correctly. So I, uh, with your, when you're working with one screen, uh, you know, you want to, you change something in your blueprint. You have a certain bit of functionality. You hit play, and you're like, oh, cool, all right. Uh, just ignore uh, the uh, alarm bells going off there. Um, one thing I do is I'm running like every laptop is kind of different. Uh, I'm running uh, an NVIDIA-based laptop, uh, and there's a thing, an option, with the GeForce experience that will cause Unreal Engine to crash a lot. And uh, what it does is it's, it's basically called Battery Boost. Um, so you want to go into your GeForce experience. It's uh, usually in you right-click on the NVIDIA panel, GeForce experience, go over to this gear. Stupid thing is, is you have to log in in order to change this for some reason. Uh, you turn off uh, battery boost. Battery boost will cause Unreal Engine to uh, time out and then crash. Uh, so you just turn that off and uh, we basically done what battery boost does but within Unreal Engine so Unreal Engine doesn't freak out. And uh, yeah, we're running at uh, uh, 20 FPS. If I have a, a, a busy scene... Okay, so the reason why I have the FPS set so low is because for every frame it has to draw what's uh, going on and uh, say if I have a scene and I want to know what it looks like with shadows and stuff like that I can still basically get the gist of it um, with that um, if I 
just wanted to uh, test things like movement and the feel of movement with a, a high frame rate, I can do that. Um, and I can do that, I'm getting lost here, I can do that running standalone game. Standalone game basically ignores the uh, FPS cap that we've uh, put in. And uh, this basically, trust me, it runs at full speed. And this is a good way to uh, test out if like your blueprint is causing um, something weird in your game thread, right? We can see everything, everything's good there. And uh, yeah, this is just the, the first person template, so not a whole lot to optimize here. Um, but yeah, the uh, you can see all that. What are we running at? Stat FPS, right? So you can jump between and uh, you know cook your machine running on battery or whatever uh, when you want to test out what's happening. And uh, to get out, you just press Alt F4, things like that. Another thing you can do is uh, you can go to Settings, Engine Scalability, and uh, right now uh, I'm set on High. I can have it set to Medium. And uh, that will uh, give us a bit more of a, uh, basically makes shadow, shadows basically look the same, uh, but we've uh, brought down the overhead and we can go to low and that just makes things look kind of, kind of weird and jaggy. Uh, medium is a, is a good uh, compromise. And uh, yeah, I'll just open up in the new window and uh, yeah, you can see the jagginess, but you know, not, not too big of a deal. And this is just a good way to be like, did what like what I did did that mess up the game thread or the draw or whatever you know what I mean and you'll just go into uh, standalone mode to see if your code kind of broke everything another cool thing about standalone mode is it prompts you to save everything and uh, yeah that's also really good stand unit how long is the the game thread is uh, yeah two two milliseconds something's ticking along there but uh, yeah we can see using that and uh, yeah it's just excellent for I guess portability and you know even in this uh, editor mode with the low FPS which when I might anger some people you can still move things around and stuff like that and uh, you know you'll have twice as much battery in theory well maybe a little bit less but yeah hope you guys enjoyed that video hope you learned stuff take care and have a good one